What's up friends, we got this big old craftsman here, found this on the side of the road, free to a good home, does not run. We got some issues right off the bat. The uh, rewind is clearly pulled all the way out, not rewinding. Uh, this, uh, the engine stop is not connected, that broke off. So hopefully, maybe, those are the only two issues we can get her running. No fuel in her, so that's actually a good sign. Doesn't even smell all that bad. I don't know how long she's been sitting. I got a pile of mowers behind the house, so if we have to, we uh, hopefully can steal some stuff off them and get this bad boy running. I think step one, well, step one, why don't we pull this, this spork plug out and see what she looks like in there. Uh, and then we'll pull this top off and see about that rewind. Okay, let's just see if, uh, see if the spark plug wants to give us any hints. Doesn't smell like fuel or nothing. Doesn't even look all that bad. Relatively new plug they got there. Uh, yeah, I don't see any... Any signs of damage on the plug, so we'll wing that guy back in. See about getting this rewind cover off. Alrighty, how's this guy come off? What, did I miss one? Oh, there's one hiding under the dirt there. Down in the mud and the blood and the beer. Do she want to come right off? That's good. Tilt that right to the side. Ah, shoot, this whole cover has to come off. This one's riveted on. Well, that's annoying. Okay, are we gonna be lucky enough that this thing will just pop right off? Or are we gonna have to play a bunch of games? Held up right here a little bit. Hey, there we go. Oof, that is not pretty. No wonder this thing wasn't working. Good news is, motor's not seized and it's making compression. Okay, decent compression too. Uh, let's get this thing extricated, extradited. Seven steeds, methinks. I said that in a video not too long ago, and several people were like, what in the actual heck are you talking about seven steeds? Is that like not a common way of saying 16? It's one of the things I like best about standard wrenches, being able to say steeds. Alrighty, so I'm not sure if the rewind is just uh, filled with dirt and that's why it's not returning, but I, I think it's probably shot. So I had it all, wrapped up and you can see it just pulls straight out. So that very well could have been the reason this thing was parked, but then somebody left it out behind the shed for several seasons, because it's filled with quite a bit of ecosystem and remnants of animals and stuff. Yeah, so let's try to pop that off, see what we're looking at. I might have another rewind out behind the house. Yeah, usually I would try, if I felt any inkling that it was gonna wanna work on us, we'd spray some WD-40 in there, see if she loosened up, but I don't, this one's got nothing going. Well, I guess we'll give her a shot, right? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Nah, I just don't feel anything. It's not giving any... It doesn't even, like, when you help it back. So... Let's go see what we can find. All right, I think the only other Briggs and Stratton I have out here that I don't mind cannibalizing is this yard machine with a 500 series motor. The motor we were working on was a 675. Let's, uh, let's just see what she looks like. Oh, does this one work? Oh yeah. Hmm, maybe I shouldn't cannibalize this one. What does it need? Oh, well, there's a bunch of water in the tank and sediment. Um, little shocks. Should we pull this one back, see about getting this one started instead? How is the... Oh, she got blade on her? Decent blade. Um... Oh yeah, this stuff works. She's in pretty good shape there. All right? Uh, somebody lost the retaining bolts there, that's no problem. Hmm... Hmm, I'd rather get the 675 running. Um, 
Oh, you know what? I think I got a snowblower that has one on it. Let's go see. Yeah, so here are here we're in the snowblower section. Uh, this is the Toro I was rebuilding over the winter, but back there is the Arians I got from my uncle. That rewind's not going to work. I wonder if there's some way to swap out the internals. Let's pull that one off because that whole motor's, the head bolts are broken, it's seized. That one is strictly for parts. So I'm going to pull that rewind off to Tecumseh, not a Briggs. But we'll see, I don't know, maybe there's some way to swap the internals over. All right, we were successful in getting the one off the Arians, the Tecumseh one, but it's just way too different than the Briggs one to swap anything over. Nothing fits, nothing's even remotely the same. So I think what we're going to do on this one is put it back on the side of the house and tackle that yard machine instead. I'm confident this motor is good. I'll bet you what happened is this broke. Somebody just parked it out behind the shed for several years and then finally they decided to pitch it, um, which means, I mean, it's, it's got compression and it's got, I guess you want to find out if it has spark real quick before we put it away. That way in a future video, we can, uh, we can tackle it here. Here's what we'll do. All right. I got one pull out of it. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it one good pull. See if she's got any spark and hopefully this works. Let's see. Oh yeah. Did you guys see it? The blades are hitting my, uh, thing here. Could you guys see it? Well, I saw it had spark. So cool. This motor's a runner, just not for this video. I got to wait until I can find a Briggs and Stratton recoil for it. Let's uh, swap the green out for the red one and get back to work. All right. Now this red one's interesting because that is just water in there. It is a tank full of water. So we have to assume the carburetor is going to be in pretty bad shape. But uh, as we just saw, she pulled. So maybe we'll get lucky. I don't, I don't know. Maybe we just have to clean the water and junk. There's going to be some serious corrosion in that, uh, in that carburetor. Come along, little doggy. I don't really want to break this plastic tank. You know what? It is two inches of fuel line. I will put new fuel line on. I just want to get the water out of that car. I'm just gonna let that drain right where it is while we, I guess pull the carburetor off. That's the only thing that makes sense, right? What in tarnation? My metric set is not as well filled. So they're like a seven? What is happening? I have a seven wrench, that's it. I ain't gonna do the job. We're gonna we're gonna make do with standard. How about that? Let's see. I got all kinds of wacky sizes over here. We'll find something. How's about a little bit nine thirty seconds? Mm, that'll probably do it. I can definitely say this is the first time I've ever used a nine thirty seconds in my life. There we go. No air filter, so if we do try to put this one up for sale. Are you kidding me? That's a different size? Briggs, you are killing me, bud. Uh, so we're gonna have to source the air filter and I guess the cover, but it's no big deal. In the grand scheme of things, you gotta assume this is a measure to dissuade people from fixing their mowers, right? They don't want me fixing this and reselling it. They want you going out to the Hody Po, Wally World, Picking up a new one. Throw the old one out. Finally. Good gravy. Oh, would you look at that? Okay. What do you think is going to be in that, uh, in this carburetor? Mud? Poop? Just a bunch of water? Our linkage up there. What I do like about this carburetor is there's only one position. Yep, that's straight water coming out of there. There's only the one spot for linkage, so you can't really mess her up. Let's get this bad boy cracked open. I guess now that we are not risking sucking water into the motor, we should check for spark before we go any further, right? Ooh, buddy. Oh, there is water in there, though. Can you see that? I don't know how well. It's probably not coming up very well on the camera, but there is definitely water in that cylinder there. You can see it separating from the, uh, the oil that's also on there. All right, we got the water out and we got the lever hooked back up for the engine brake. So 
just uh, clamp that off like that. This guy like that. Oh yeah, we got some more. I'll let you guys see. Keep your eye right between the screwdriver and the muffler. Get closer. Can you see it? The muffler guard thing is not the best place to ground out to, but I don't know if you can see, but I can certainly see it. Keep getting too far away. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Yeah, whatever. We're in good shape there. So why don't we spray a little carb spray and see if it'll bark. That'll tell us if the valves and everything are, are doing good or if we got our work cut out for us there as well. All right, here's what we're gonna do. A little bit of this in there. A little bit of this closed up there. That's good enough for government work. <clears throat> see if she wants to bark. Leave that right there, maybe even just a skosh right down the old throat hole there. And I don't know if it will, being that there's water in there. We might have to pull the, uh, the head off, dry things out. Let's just see. That didn't sound great. <laughs> Is that something down below banging like that? Huh. That's interesting. See if she had any oil in it. All right, obviously I should have tried the oil before we did any of that, but uh, as Terrell would say, we're not exactly working on the space shuttle here. It's a broken junkyard lawn mower. Uh, and never fear, oil is here. It's even got fresh oil. Doesn't seem like there's any water in it either. So let's do that again. I wanna to try to identify that noise before I put too much time into this thing. You say another spritz down the old throat hole there. I know how much it bothers old timers and professionals when I do that. I just don't care. There we go. All right, I got a little interrupted there. Mild family crisis, no big deal. Everything's sorted. I am just gonna, a wiser man than me said, screw it, send it. Uh, let's go fix up that carburetor scoop the poop out and just try to get her to run and if it knocks like crazy then we'll use it for parts and if not then we've got a lawnmower there you go everybody wins all righty so i pulled the carbitrator apart and uh nothing catastrophic the problem with these carbs is there's not a ton of serviceable parts i think this whole cartridge might be able to be replaced i could be wrong i'm not going to put a ton of time into this bad boy uh we are going to go and spray all this out because it's terrible old gas mixed with water like it stinks like old gas but then most of it's water you can see right here see the the water sitting on top of the gas so this is your gas and then that's your water it all came out together um so i'm just gonna clean that situation up slam it back together we got to clean the tank out i don't know how well you can see probably can't see at all but there's literal sediment in there and then it's still all water so i don't know what i want to do about that i might just fill it with gas and then drain it throw that gas out and then fill it again. I don't know if that's a good thing or I don't know. We'll get to it, whatever. All right, I think the only way to properly clean this tank is to take it off of the lawnmower. I know we're cutting some corners with the carburetor, but if we don't address that tank properly, this thing has no chance. So I guess we can go back to our original plan. Oh no, this recoil was totally different than the other one. So this wouldn't have worked for that one anyway. I'm gonna have to wait for another 675 series. Motor, and I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this just sits right in there. So that is nice and easy. Um, I'm gonna put some gas in here. We're gonna shake it all about. What the heck is in there? See, leaves are coming out. That is definitely like a rock or something. Yep. A pebble. Maybe it'll be my uh, good luck pebble. Probably not. Let's get this thing cleaned out. All right, we've got a uh, bolt in there to block that up. Let's put a little bit of the gas hole in there. I'm gonna do the hokey pokey and shake it all about. I'm gonna go and dispose of this gasoline in definitely an environmentally friendly way. 
And we'll probably do that at least one or two more times. You would not believe the gunk that came out of there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this again, maybe once more, depending on how this stuff looks. And we'll see if we can't throw her back on and just send it. Screw it, send it. All right, let's get this thing back together. I pulled some fuel line out so we can replace that. All right, I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV, but I think I have it figured. The, the 5 16 ones fit onto the, they go into the bracket. And the, what I think is actually seven mil, but we're using 930 seconds, goes into the carburetor. Gotta keep them carbureted. Da, na, 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 na. Which makes sense. Now things make a little more sense. Why there were two different sizes. I mean, could they have made them all one size? Obviously. Would that have been a, a better choice? Definitely. Another better choice would have been for me to grab a ratchet for installing these, as opposed to doing it this way. Sitting on the floor <laughs> with the screwdriver jam. My goodness. All right. I think that accounts for all the bolts, which means we should have a nice tight seal there so we won't get any vacuum leaks. Make sure these are tight. And now, oh, well, I guess we gotta throw, throw this guy on and then, all right. Got no air filter, got no gas top. Let's just go and send her. I think I'll find a bolt put in here. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's see if she wants to run. All right, we'll splash some gas in her from our government unapproved gas can. Not too much, so we have no idea yet. It's always good to just spill some. Of course, we're gonna give her a splash right down the old throat hole, just to really persuade her into going for us. Um, yeah, why not? Let's see what happens. It does make a little bit of a binging and a banging noise. Let's disconnect the spark plug and see exactly what she looks like underneath. I checked earlier, the blade looks good. There's no play or anything in the crankshaft and the motor is tight to the, uh, to the deck there. I don't know. Screw it, we're gonna clean her up. I mean, you, you can't ask too much for a unit like this. It's got some wobbly wheels. I might be able to tighten them up. The wheels are not adjustable. No bag situation. She runs. Probably didn't even need that spritz of the good stuff there. Start back up, what do you think? Oh, maybe it did. What an idiot. You weren't gonna tell me that I didn't hook the uh, Park plug back up. Christmas. Life is hard and harder if you're stupid, I'll tell you that much. doesn't shake a ton so I think we're in good shape let's go see if maybe we have something for here and maybe we have something for here over on the side of the house and right, everything over here this doesn't even have a gas tank this is the 675 we started today's show with doesn't have a carburetor either this is one of them Chinese Chondas the the knockoff Honda style whatever I don't even know what kind of machine was this there are no identifying markers on there I'll tell you what though, I wish I could put this whole back wheel set up on that other one. Oh, it's an MTD. 
MTD, apparently. It's got no blade, nothing, so. This one, I picked it up for parts, but I don't even know what the heck, it's got no parts on it. It's got a spark plug, maybe I can take that. Uh, let's see what else we got. All right, that Murray is actually gonna be for sale. That's why it's covered in a bag. It's my personal one. Uh, there's some stuff back there, but I think it's, it's Tecumseh. Yeah, it's Tecumseh motor. All right, so we struck out. Well, friends, I'll tell you what we're gonna do since we kind of struck out there. I'll look around, see if I can find that cover and that cheap. And if not, probably put it up for 50 bucks as is. I mean, it runs, you know? If I needed a mower like this, a little push mower, uh, I would just keep it. Tape a plastic bag or something over there. And I don't know, what, do you, what, do you, what is an air filter for anyway? Come on, man. Uh, yeah, I will fix this. Just put a, put a bolt in there. So picked her up for free. Spent dang near no time on it, right? So that was a success. Hope you like this video of pick picks and the... This is weird, right? I was looking at this before. It looks like it... I wonder if they use this deck for multiple mowers or something. This makes it look like it should have adjustable schnoozles, toyers. I guess maybe you can... I'm going to look into unbolting this and bolting those other ones on there. Huh. But then the fronts don't adjust, right? There's nothing in the front, so it's a weird mower. It's kind of, it's real weird. It's just super, super basic, but somebody might want it. Certainly a good motor. Maybe I find a good deck with a bad motor. I don't know. Let me know down there in the squawk box is what you think I should do with this thing. Do I pay to find the pieces? Do I sell it as is? Do I take the motor off, turn it into a horizontal shaft and put it in that Dodge? I, I, don't, I don't know. You guys let me know. Uh, if you like the video, like the video, that's common sense. Sub to the channel, because we got all kinds of stuff going on. We're fixing Chinese quads all day, every day. Both mine and Eric's little executive producers recently got into riding, so we got that bad boy that we're trying to fix. I got this boy that I picked up DOA for 20 bucks. It's all fixed up. Tess has been riding that. She loves it. A little two-stroke 50 mongoose. Uh, and then, of course, you know, lawnmowers. A couple jet skis in there we're working on, so good channel if you like uh watching some monkey with a toolbox that'd be me just sort of binging and banging on stuff hey we got it running so i don't i don't care if you don't like my methods today was a win all right i'm gonna leave you guys here thanks for watching See you